This could be your year to set some new goals and achieve them. We can help with a healthier start in 2023 from therapist and clinical director at Texas Health Recovery and Wellness Center, Randy Bile. Good morning. Good to see you. Hey, good morning, Lauren. Nice to see you this morning I, as I well. Don't, I, I don't know about you, but I'm like scrolling through, you know, Facebook and Instagram, social media and stuff. And I'm actually kind of overwhelmed by like the pressure to set a goal or to find a resolution. Um, but, but you know, I mean, you mentioned it, it really could be just about living your best self. And, and these can be like little, little small steps, right? Absolutely. Yeah, that's exactly what I would tell anyone that is interested in setting some New Year's resolution goals. Just, you know, start small and be kind to yourself and keep into perspective, you know, the goals and or the resolutions you're wanting to set for yourself. Ah, and, you know, you say, um, like, maybe it's spend more time with family or maybe it's weight loss or more. I'm, I'm assuming by sharing with those you love what it is that you are trying to change, that, that can really help you too. Absolutely. I think a, a large support system and or people that maybe share those same goals with yourself can, you know, I, I call them accountability partners. And so maybe it's, you know, just having that accountability and or support that can just kind of push you through and, and you know, help you um, obtain those goals or just, you know, in general, remind you of, you know, um, hey, we're on the same page or I'm here to support you and help you in, in your goals and the steps that you're taking to um you know, accomplish what you want to accomplish in this new year. I can't remember what the number is, but it's like a large percentage of people do not yes. reach their goal or their, you know, or, or, or reach their, their plans, their, their resolution. So, I mean, are we just like setting ourselves up for failure? <laughs> no, I think that's where self-awareness comes in. I think, you know, just having a high level of self-awareness, uh, setting yourself up from the very beginning to succeed and giving yourself some grace. You know, I know a lot of people, they will set some pretty outrageous goals. Maybe they don't meet them and then they'll just, you know, be done. Um, whereas if you give yourself some grace and just accept the fact that, hey, I tried, um, let's just hop back on and try again and keep going. Cause it doesn't have to be a failure the first, you know, the first time that you don't necessarily um, meet your goal and, or you might need a little extra time to meet that goal. So I'd say, you know, just be realistic with your goals and give yourself grace and understand that you might not accomplish that goal in the period of time that you've set out, but you know, time is endless, just keep going. Don't, you know, don't give up. I love it. Don't give up. Randy, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Happy New Year.